Ben, really, really tough way to, to lose football matches, but you must be really proud of, of what we did actually in the 90, I say 90 minutes, but 101 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, it, was a, it was a two hour and two minute game of football from kickoff to end, so we'll have to get used to this. And, um, but no, really proud of the players, the effort, the effort put in um, to, to react from 2-0 down and come back against the championship side was fantastic. Uh, the way we stuck at it with 10 men at the end to see the game through and take it to penalties was, was also really pleasing. Lots of good performances in there tonight and penalties is never a nice way to lose but uh, there's absolutely no blame on the players, that's on me. We, we didn't practice going into the game, uh, I wanted to focus on our preparations for, for the game itself and, uh, and making sure that we're doing that and building our principles going into these games so uh, full responsibility for that is on me. And uh, yeah, as I say, no, no blame at all on the players. Yeah, and we've already seen amongst the squad during pre season that it's a together squad. So I presume the other lads have got behind those three players and uh, we move on to Saturday with no recriminations for them at all. Absolutely, it's always, it's always a group mentality. You know, we, we give everything together and whatever the outcome, we, we accept that and we, we deal with it. We take the celebrations when they come and we try and react quickly from defeat. So there'll never be any, uh, any individual blame. And, uh, and like I say, with the penalties, I'm not putting anything on any one of those players. I'm really proud of the bravery they showed to step up and take the penalty and try and do what they did. Uh, and they were all good saves. It's not like they hit it over the bar and missed a target. They were good saves. And uh, like I say, that was that, that's on me, not on the players. And good character to, to come back. And two people see them as simple goals, but fantastically well worked yeah. goals. And uh, John Akinde and Joe Taylor. Uh, you know, the recipients of uh, Jaden Fevier's good work. Yeah, Jaden was excellent tonight, he really was. Every time we got him in that final third, got him into 1v1 situations, he looked so positive, he looked so dangerous, he can go both ways. Um, and he added productivity, and that's what we want from him, you know, in terms of the assists. He's got goals in him as well. Uh, and, and great, I love those types of goals for front players to, to be in the right place and have a simple one into the back of the net. Um, and John and uh, Joe both off the marks so are really pleased with that. And obviously, a downside to the game, Samson Tolido's red card, but it didn't look like he was going for the play, it just looked like he had his eyes firmly on the ball. Yeah, I think it's a really unfortunate one. He has no intent, there's no malice whatsoever, and he, he's got his eyes purely on the ball, he's trying to bring it down. It looks, it looks bad, you know, it looks bad on impact, but... Um, Again, no recriminations on Samson. He's a great, kid. he's a great kid, fantastic attitude, and uh, he's just unfortunate there. He's uh, he's not meant it. He's not even seen the player, and um, yeah, obviously we have to deal with suspension now, and, uh, and hopefully it'll just be a one-game ban. Yeah, and a tough turnaround now because obviously you're playing Wednesday instead of yeah. Tuesday, so you know, things to think about between now and Saturday. Absolutely, you know that recovery starts now. The players are already recovering. Um, we're actually staying down this evening to make sure that the players sleep and recover. Um, we travel back tomorrow morning and then uh, we're prepared going into, into Bradford on Saturday and get ourselves in the best possible shape, ready to get hopefully the first league win in the season.